like that. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna be captain. So all y'all wanna know what happened. I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. Look, book me a calico. I said that, been saying that for a little while right now. Book me a calico, please. Please, book me a calico. I don't listen, man. I didn't. I, I didn't. Uh, I didn't took a big loss on something I invested in. I'm. I'm. I'm back on. Um, I'm back on the block. This is the right time to book me. Book me a calico. I'm back outside. I'm back on the block. Um. I just. I just came from the corner. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers. That notification gang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know who I be. Follow me on IG, Vada underscore fly. Tell your mama I said hi. Quick update, quick update. Bullpen's pandemic card has just got better. Uh, I had spoke about Shotgun Shug and Miss Hustle backing out of their battles in the last blog, whatever the case may be. And please, whole rappers, don't take it personal. I'm sure that my thoughts are not just singularly mine. Fans who are interested or wanted to cop this card, it's definitely because there's going to be star power on it. I mean, honestly, the newer guys will watch you. We hope to see some fire, but we're really copping it for the names. That's where the bread gets made. So, Jazz the Rapper is going to be battling in place of Miss Hustle. So, Jazz the Rapper will be on the card versus Loso. Weeks preparation, so they'll have their time to try to get it together really quick. Loso's a good writer. Jazz is good, too. This should be interesting. I feel like whoever's the more consistent out of the two is going to win this one. Um, then you have New Jersey Twerk stepping in to battle, uh, you know, bonus in place of Shotgun Shug. It's a good look for him. We'll see what New Jersey Twerk can do. These are going to be one-rounders, you know what I'm saying? This is going to be one-rounders. So, you know, you heard me in the last uh, video, you know what I'm saying? I was, I was, I was on my multiple-choice thoughts. Should I A not cop the card because mm -mm, I thought it was a dub. B, take the $40, go buy me some grub. C, put the money in my tank because I was going to the club. Or D, go to Rap Grid and do all of the above, right? So um, I was like, I didn't know. But now I, I'm definitely with it, you know what I'm saying? This card is definitely going to be uh, some fire on it. And now you got some intangibles and we're going to see what happens. But this one right here is about goods. Shout out to Goods. Salute to the Bronx. You know what I'm saying? Um, Goods, uh, he wants Calico. Uh, a lot of the times when people would like get at Goods, like see the thing about Goods, when he first came into Battle Rap, he was really good with the promotion. He would do the videos. He made the video, uh, you know, they had a video with Conceited. When Conceited was in the store, they, you know, Goods was in the store. Conceited was looking for the deodorant. They used to do the promo videos dissing each other, him and Charlie Clips. But, uh, when Goods first got on, he was really, he did that a lot, you know what I'm saying? That was part of his character, to talk heavy in the videos, you know, he did a lot of skits and shit like that. And the more he got on, I think he really got a little too cool for school and he stopped doing it. There was a time frame where Goods, you would just see him at a battle and not hear from him for months, you know what I'm saying? Like, you would, it'd just be nothing, you know what I mean? And he'll show back up on the big cards only. He wouldn't battle on smaller events. He wasn't battling on like Born Legacies and none of those type of cards. He'll show up for Gnome, Summer Madness, have a big battle, and then you'll see him again Thanksgiving. You know what I mean? Like that just was good. And he had never really been clearly like losing battles. Like he had like a lot of debatable joints or if he won, he won, but he wasn't really losing. That was the thing about Goods. Like his aura would follow him like from battle to battle it was weird. He has like a cult following of people that no matter what the content, the Camry, Bambi, dare you to die, no matter what Goods had in his career, you know what I'm saying, people will always try to give him flack about lyrical content, but as a rapper and as far as a businessman moving through the culture, he's always done his thing, you know what I'm saying, so when he excelled, he didn't really like chirp back and forth with every single person that went at him or dissed him or said his name in a bar or whatever the case may be. He didn't go back and forth. He just was too good for it. But recently, <laughs> pun intended, but uh, recently he's been blogging, you know, doing shows, being on joints with clips. He has his own channel. Go check his channel out. Nothing but goods, promoting more. And being, I've, this is the most vocal I've seen goods in probably ever. I mean, like he's literally blogging on current events talking about cards, recapping battles, doing interviews, you know what I'm saying? Like that is the type of sh you want to see someone doing when they in the business, you know what I'm saying? You want to see them out there, you want to see them talking, 
No, if an MC call you out, you got a show where you bringing people up there to talk about people calling them out, you know what I'm saying, to battle you and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? I don't see Goods getting into like messy sh but you know what I'm saying? If it's a battle or about a battle, he gonna talk about it. Or, or, or something you have to meet to get on live. If you got 37 people in there, you should not be on live. That That's just th throw the live away. It's pointless. It doesn't make no sense. Don't go in there talking. Now, he should be happy. You know what I'm saying? He should be happy, though, that somebody caught his footage that gets some views on YouTube that put it up. Now, that's good. He should be just clap for that. He should be happy for that. But I like Calico, man. I like Calico. I never saw, really saw a battle between me and Calico. I didn't even understand why people wanted to see it. You know what I'm saying? Until now. Until... Until around these times now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm brushing my thoughts. Until now. Um, I'm going to wash Calico, man. And that's clearly, and that's clearly just because he, he catching me at a time right now where I really want to rap. All right? So that's a good thing. So my head is clear. I don't got... A bunch of stuff going on. I could just, I really just want to go and rap. I, I, I think when somebody wants to rap, that, that's a good thing. I don't know what it is with Calico. Calico always wanted to put himself, you know, like with the with the elites. And he never was really with the elites. He was just like right under the elites all the time. And I'm talking about from back in the day. Calico always been like right under the, the elites. So if you had the the A team, Calico would be on the B team. Maybe the B plus team. You know what I'm saying? He might get a little more. He might get a B plus team. You know what I'm saying? He'll be right there waiting for the somebody on the A team to get injured, and then you could put Calico in. You know? And Calico called him out on a live stream. And I was the one, one of the ones, you know what I'm saying? Hey, ho, ho, way here, way. It was a lot of other people, you know what I'm saying? But I was one of the ones who got that stream. That only 37 people was watching, put it on the channel, does 10, 15,000 views. He's talking about people who can get something and grow it, you know what I'm saying? And that happens a lot of the time, so you'll be around or you'll see or hear these lives from these artists where they're saying really impactful things, but not a lot of people see it. So when you see it, you grab it, you put it out. It's not like I'm trying to eat off this artist. It's like, no, I got this a message here that he's trying to get out. If he jumped on live, he jumped on live for people to see it. So if people didn't see it, I'm going to make sure they see it. You know what I'm saying? It's the big screen here, baby. Big screen, big screen, big screen. What size is your television down there in the, um, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the comments? You know what I'm saying? It's the big screen joint. You know what I'm saying? This is 72 inches here. Um, so I, and so he's like, nah, I want this. Mm -mm. I'm in a mood to rap. I feel like I lost something. You know what he's talking about? He's talking about that easy to block capping battle. I feel like I lost something that I invest in. Now I'm back to the block. I got to get back with it. I got to show y'all I can dance. That's the goods. I want to see. I want to see what is going to be your response after that response. Like you was always able to just credit score. You know what I'm saying? Never saw a credit score of 774. Ooh, that was fine. Those ones don't take that. Never saw a credit score of 774. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, call with the better doors. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I met a whore. Like, but that's what I met her for. Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't, know, I don't want you to lie. But anyway, um, so good, you know what I mean? It's like, he always had a way to win through battles. And this is one of the first battles where most, you know what I'm saying, myself included, oh, is saying that he lost, you know what I mean? And he wants to beat someone. And I think that to, to get a clear win, clear win, clear. If you get a clear win versus someone like Cal, it will bode very well for you. It's the street talk. This is gonna be the most street. They should. This battle should be outside, not on the outside car, but like outside. Like this battle shouldn't even. They should take this to the street corner, honestly. Hey, even if there's an event, even if it's an event, you can have an event. That shit can pour outside. Y'all niggas can battle on the corner. That would be fire. I mean, y'all would, y'all would really shut some shit down. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm sure people want to hear what these two would have to say to each other. Because Good said he was never interested in the battle, but a lot of us was interested in the battle just because of the. Clashing styles, like y'all styles ain't nowhere. Y'all talk about the same content matter on the same levels, but you know, 
his cow style of rapping is not the same as yours and yours ain't his. And then you said that, uh, you did say something that I agreed with a little bit when you talked about Cal always being up there, but you know what I'm saying? They ain't put him up there, up there, like the top, top, top niggas, you know what I'm saying? Like he'll be on cards, he'll headline some of them too. Whoa, hey, hey whoa, whoa. That's act like he wouldn't headline. He headlined some big cards too. He did more Summer Madness and Gnomes than anybody, damn near everybody. I think he got like 12 of them dang Summer Madness. This nigga was rapping for a long time now, so we're not gonna do that with Cal. But what I'm saying, for goods, this is a prime opportunity to show your handle on a high level and let niggas know what it's gonna be with you as far as like moving forward, you know what I'm saying? Like I know Goods can rap, we know he do the ciphers, we know he do the freestyle, we know he got the cologne, we know he got the sneakers, we know he's always marketing himself and making himself a bigger MC, but at the same time, we need to see that in the win column, you know what I'm saying? Like we need to know like, Goods need to have a battle where we could be like, yo, this person clearly beat that person, you know what I'm saying? Charlie Clips versus Rex. Certain battles, we already know. I ain't choke, I ain't choke. Um, certain battles, we know what the outcome was. With a lot of goods battles, it's either been, this person could win, I got it 2-1 this way, 2-1 that way. It's not no, he's not clearing folks. Other MCs are clearing people. I wanna see goods clear someone. And I don't think that's a, a, a tough request and I don't feel like I'm hating or, 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 or talking sideways because as an MC, I do respect Goods and I do respect what he does. That's why I even made this blog. I could have just seen the subject and not even talked about it. He put this on his channel uh, like five, six days ago. Shout out to Goods. I had to grab some cop. I'm just, yo, subscribe to the channel. Make sure y'all subscribe to nothing but Goods. You know what I'm saying? I needed that. You know what I mean? I got you. I got you. You know what I'm saying? I'm just helping out. I'm just helping out. I'm helping out. You know what I'm saying? Go watch his joint too. Well, uh, where he spoke about it. And, and he sounded very confident. And I was like, oh shit. This wasn't the goods I heard versus easy. Like in the promotion and the talk and everything. It was just trying to bully over the fact that I just know I'm better than him and he can't do what I do better than me. It wasn't about like rap. It was kind of like I'm just everything better than this person. And the other guy got a really tuned up style for right now and he's hot. And I think goods kind of underestimated easy. I'm not gonna hold you. I feel like he kind of underestimated. He kind of felt like no matter what easy to block captain was able to do that it wasn't gonna be good enough to stop anything that he had going on, and he was sincerely wrong, you know what I'm saying? Like, once when, when some things started hitting, they started hitting. So, uh, I, overall, um, I wanna see it. I, I'm confident in both MCs, you know what I'm saying? I know Cal could get busy too. And the way he was talking on that live stream, he was not cutting him no slack, so I know they are gonna have some, some shit to talk about. And it looks for it's a good thing. It's a good look for URL because like URL needs some 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 heat right now. You know what I'm saying? They need some fire announcements. You know what I mean, you know, the heavy is the head that holds the crown. So you know when it comes to URL and the battles that they have and things like that, people gonna have their reactions. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Tay Rock versus Stumbles just dropped, but the battle took so long to drop that that's the first thing that's, that you that you notice. Rock is rapping about the Eagle in the Super Bowl, and the Super Bowl done happened already. It's the NBA playoffs. When that battle happened, Kevin Durant was on Brooklyn. I'm gonna talk about this battle again later when I recap it, but you gotta release stuff earlier. You know what I'm saying? You don't, you don't wanna see waiting four months to see a battle. It, it takes the steam away. Something that could have been crazy is like, eh, I guess. But anyway, you already know what it is, man. Salute to everyone of y'all. We'll talk soon.